All right, all right, all right, let's get started. Hello guys, I am Vogue. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome. Here I have picked up from Sally Beauty Supply the Wella Color Charm Cooling Violet Toner that I'm going to be swatching today on my hair. It will or I'm hoping that it'll turn my hair gray. It says it is a permanent liquid hair color. I've already used some Wella toners before. This is my third try now, so I know that this only lasts like, for like a few weeks, which is why, you know, my hair doesn't turn out too good. It's okay, it's just a toner. For instructions, um, this is a, wow, this light is like blinding me, I can't even read. Vibrant, long-lasting, fade resistant results. Excellent gray coverage, a gray toner is going to be excellent for gray coverage. <laughs> a gentle floral fragrance. I guess that's never too bad because toners normally smell bad. Use the cooling violet additive to reduce unwanted warm tones. Add two to four cap, capfuls? Okay. Apply to the hair using either an applicator bottle recommended or brush and Bowl. Develop for 30 minutes and up to 45 minutes if additional depth or gray coverage is needed. But because we are going gray and not trying to cover gray, I don't think the 45 minutes will be necessary. For this process, you're gonna need a 20 volume developer and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So make sure that you have 42 milliliters of this stuff. Obviously you're gonna need this little guy here. But always wanna make sure that when you're using any hair dye tools or bleach or you wanna use a plastic bowl, so I have my little plastic bowl here. Um, I think I've taken out all my earrings. Yeah, you wanna make sure no metal with these products because like chemical reactions and science. <coughs> oh God, don't do that. Don't, don't smell it, that's bad. You're gonna need a pair of gloves because you don't wanna have stain marks all over your hands. You also need a shower cap. Well, this is kind of optional if you prefer just putting your hair in a bun or like in a hair clip or something when you're finished and you're waiting for it to settle in your hair, that's fine. Um, I just prefer using a shower cap, it's a lot cleaner. But when you mix in hair dye, it takes a little bit of time for the developer to start developing <laughs> the color. So right now it looks like a honey sort of consistency, but then it will start to change color. I recommend if you have longer hair, I have like shoulder length hair, if you have longer hair, you're gonna need two of the little bottles of the Wella toner, because this was like just enough, I find. I'll be back in like 30 minutes or so. All right, are you guys ready? This is it. I thought it was gonna be a lot more on the violet side. It literally just went gray. It's very dark, like as soon as I took it out from the shower cap I noticed I was like holy crap is this actually like it looked black it's just a very dark gray um what I might end up doing just to make it a little bit more on like the cooler violet side is like add a bit of the manic panic um purple color that I'm forgetting what it's called yeah I've never had gray hair before, so this is a very new experience. Feel free to leave a comment or ask me any kind of question you have about this process. Uh, send me any photos or tell, let me know if you guys are gonna be doing this as well. Or subscribe if you wanna see more of my hair and beauty tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching. I had a dream last night that I did this and then it turned my whole head blue. And I was like, wow! <laughs>